let's look at how to connect our JavaScript to our HTML file. Now, JavaScript is originally envisioned as a programming language for the browser. You can use it on the server without HTML files, but if we want to use it in the browser, we have to have an HTML file. So that's what I have right here. I've got an HTML file created. So I'm just going to go to File New and make a new JavaScript file. And all I have to do is just save it with the extension .js. And normally, I like to put this in a JavaScript folder. So let's call it main.js inside my JS folder here. And a JavaScript file is no different than an HTML file or a CSS file. It's just a plain text file. It just depends on what you write inside it. So have this set up here. Now I want what I want to do is connect it to my index. And the way we connect it is using the script tag. So the script tag looks like this, script. And it has to have an open and close tag like that. Without the closing tag, it's just not going to work properly. And the reason that we have an open and close tag is because you can write JavaScript directly in here. Uh, but you don't necessarily have to. You can also connect a separate file, which is what we're going to do. So in order to connect a separate file, we put after the script tag, we put an attribute here, the src attribute, and then we just point to our JavaScript file like that. So js slash main.js. Now you'll notice where I put my script tag, and where you put it is actually important. So you could technically put it up here in the head, and that would also work. You can put it in the head, or you can put it anywhere in the body. But what you really should do is always put it at the very bottom of your body. And the reason we want to do this is because JavaScript is a blocking resource. What that means is that while the browser is downloading JavaScript, it won't do anything else. It will wait for the JavaScript to finish downloading, and then it will execute it before continuing. So by having our JavaScript at the bottom here, from a performance perspective, our users feel like the website downloads more quickly because they get to see the website in all its CSS before the JavaScript is actually triggered. So it's a good idea to put it ha to have it down at the bottom here like this. So with our script tag, we've connected our JavaScript and our HTML together. And now let's go into our JavaScript, and we'll just test it to make sure it works. So all browsers have a function built into them called alert, which isn't terribly user-friendly, but it's a good way to get something up and running in our browser to see if it works. So in here, I'll just write hello like that, and I'll go to my browser and refresh, and you can see it pops up this little dialog with the word hello in it. So I know that my JavaScript is connected together. So I create a new JS file. I hook up the script at the bottom of my body, always the bottom, and our JavaScript is ready to go.